Charlotte? Charlotte? Are you all right? Yes. A little tired, perhaps. But I feel peaceful now that I know your future is secure. You will live, Wilbur, long and safe. And you'll have no more dreams about men with guns and knives. Oh, Charlotte, why did you do it all for me? I've never done anything for you. Because you are my friend. That in itself is a tremendous thing. Besides, what's life anyway? We're born. We live a little. We die. By helping you, perhaps I'm living up my own life. Heaven knows. Anyone's life can stand a little of that. <coughs> well, I'm not going to make excuses. And I haven't got you here for words. <coughs> but you saved my life. And I'd love to give my life to yours. I really would. I'm sure you would. And I thank you for your generous sentiment. Oh, Charlotte, we're all going back to the barn. Won't it be wonderful to the farmyard again? I will not be going back to the barn. Not going back? What are you saying? I'm done for. In a day or two, I'll be dead. I have the strength to get back to the grave on the truck. I'm so tired. I can't even crawl up to my egg sack. Oh, Charlotte, my true friend. Come now, Wilbur. Let's not make a scene. But I won't leave you here to die alone. I shall stay, too. You can't stay. They won't let you. <coughs> Besides, there will be no one here to feed you. And soon, the fairgrounds will be empty and deserted. <coughs> wait! I have an idea. We have to do it quickly. Templeton, wake up! Pay attention! Yeah, can't really get to make us sleep. <laughs> Templeton, listen very carefully. Charlotte is very ill. She won't be coming back. And I have to take her ASAP with me. I can't reach it and I can't climb. Please, Templeton, you'll have to get it for me. God, oh, Templeton is a rescue again, is it? Oh, please, Templeton, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, what case do I ever get for my services, huh? <laughs> what do you think I am? Uh, I'm out of all work. Hurry up, Templeton. They'll be coming back soon. I'll make a deal with you. If you can show the things up for me, I'll let you be first whenever Lurie slaps me. You can have first choice of anything in the trough. You mean that? I promise. Cross my heart. <coughs> all right, it's a deal. Be very careful, Templeton. I don't want a single one of those eggs broken. Thank you. Charlotte, I shall protect you with all my might. Now, Templeton, you better crawl back under the hay in the truck if you want to ride back home. You bet I'm going back. <laughs> now I get voice choice of everything in the truck. <laughs> we'll take care of Will Regan. You drop the tailgate in the pickup and get his crate ready. Martha, if you burn the neighbor again in the truck, we'll be along in a minute. We'd better straighten up. Go on to cover the fair thing. Try to think about the mess behind. Well, sir, it turned out to be a mighty fine pair. Yep, mighty fine. Best one I've been to. Very best. Come on, boy. This will be a day you can tell your grandchildren about. Goodbye, Charlotte. Goodbye. Goodbye, Wilbur. Thank you for saving my egg sack. Thank you. And goodbye, my friend. Charlotte summoned all of her strength and waved goodbye to Wilbur. She went back to her web and never moved again. The next day, as the fair flew was being taken apart, and the racehorses were being loaded into their trailers, and the entertainers were packing up their belongings and driving away in their van, Charlotte died. The fairgrounds were soon deserted. The sheds and buildings were empty and forlorn. The fields were littered with bottles and trash. Of the hundreds of people that had visited the fair, no one knew that a black spider had played the most important part of all. That's the fair, but everyone knew Charlotte very, very much. For the rest of the fall and all through the winter, Will regarded over Charlotte's egg sack as though he were guarding over his own children. Patiently, he awaited the end of winter and the coming of the little spiders. Ah, oh, good. 
will be eating his breakfast yet. Wilbur hasn't eaten anything for the past few days. He can wait out in the yard for the eggs to hatch. Templeton, you and Sam Bunker ate less. Yeah, who wants to live forever? Who do you do a child out? No, 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 you do the honors. Very, very, very well. I'm pleased to announce that the Cooper and I are expecting goblins again. It must be great. Everything's sprouting. Including her stomach. They're here! They're here! Who's here? Who's here? Spiders, they passed. All 514 of them. Look! They seem to be coming up, up, up the rafters. Yes, and going where the freezes are. Oh, look! They're floating away with the of silk. Wait! Don't go! Won't you please stay? They're leaving. Captain's every time, Wilbur. Wait! Please! Goodbye. I'm glad they hatch, but I wish they would stay. Some of them anyway. I'm being deserted by Charlotte's and children. There, there, there. They have to live their own lives, you know. I know. I was just hoping that... Oh, never mind. Salutations! Salutations? Who said that? Me! I'm over here! And I'm over here! Over here. Three of us are staying. We like this place, and we like you. Well, this is wonderful. Just wonderful. Salutations to you, too. What are your names? Excuse me. Are you trembling? Yes, trembling with joy. Then my name is Joy. What was my name again? A. How about Templeton? Bill. <laughs> <laughs> How about Melly? Melly? Joy, Aurania, and Melly. Welcome to your new homes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where did you get that hat from metal you're wearing? It's a long story, and I'll tell it to you. But right now, I'm taking the metal off. What? We're keeping off this To celebrate this very special day, I'm putting the metal where it rightfully belongs. Templeton, please hang on nail for Charlotte's web used to be. And that a favor? It's the last <laughs> one. I promise. Um, yeah, I know. See you the next one. That's perfect. I hereby dedicate my medal to the memory of dear Charlotte, whom we will never forget. Very thoughtful, little girl. None of us will ever, ever, ever forget. <laughs> I shall love her children and grandchildren dearly, but none of them shall ever take her place in my heart. She was in a class by herself. <laughs> it is not often that someone comes along who is a good writer and a true friend. Charlotte was both. Thank <laughs> you.